Welcome to the Games That Made Us series, where we take a deeper dive into the games that had an impact on us growing up and helped shape our tastes, and sometimes lack thereof, in our gaming choices today. Leave a comment some of the games that left a mark on your taste in the comments section below. I've been gaming for many, many years as I am now an old man, and uh, since I was a wee lad. I remember sitting at home one day, playing with my Transformers, my G.I. Joes, my He-Mans, and of course fighting with my sister, when all of a sudden, randomly, there was a ColecoVision hooked up to one of our TVs. Uh, I was introduced to games like Zaxxon, Cabbage Patch Kids, Qbert, and of course Donkey Kong. And at the time, my pea brain self was mind blown that I was actually controlling something on the TV with a controller. I did enjoy myself with the Coleco and loved it, but that's not exactly when I started to love video games. My first love came when my dad enrolled me in a bowling league when I was probably eight years old. And then one day leaving, I heard this amazing music coming from this small bunch of arcade cabinets that they had in the lobby. And I saw it there standing there in all of its beauty the game that made me fall in love with video games was Double Dragon I walked up to the cabinet next to another guy playing my mom gave me a few quarters because I had some time to kill before my sister was done with her bowling I watched it in awe of the graphics the sound watching the guy mercilessly beat his enemies with a baseball bat and whips and thinking to myself, games aren't going to get any better than this. This is it. This is the pinnacle. I eventually inserted my quarter and stood there like an asshole, just waiting for the guy to be finished. Eventually he said, just hit start. I looked at him like, Are you stupid or something? He eventually hit the start button for me. Enter Jimmy Lee, Billy's twin, and the second player character in the game. My mind was officially blown. Not only can this game be played two-player, but two players at the same time. When I got home, I immediately ran to my friend's house and told him about this unicorn of a game, two twin brothers fighting against the Shadow Warrior gang in order to rescue Billy's girlfriend. We started to frequent the dark, damp, smoky, and I'm sure meeting place of all things legal, the Mall Arcade, in order to get our D&D fix. Up to this point, I'd played a lot of ColecoVision games, and Nintendo games at friends' houses, and two-player games were always my favorite, but they're always games that you alternated turns, or played against each other like a sports game, Blades of Steel, Ice Hockey, Double Dribble, that sort of thing. Double Dragon influenced my questionable first console of choice, and my brand loyalty for the next few generations, however. My friend ran to Double Dragon for the NES, and I liked it. It was fine, but it wasn't the arcade. It wasn't the same experience we had while breathing in copious amounts of secondhand smoke at the mall arcade. When I saw an ad on TV for the Sega Master System and saw that Double Dragon and its version was two players at the same time, that was a console for me, and the other games didn't matter. Hey, this was just the first mistake I made in my early gaming life. I did love my Master System, but choosing it over the other console with easily the best game library there was at the time was suspect at best. Luckily that was short-lived, and not even a year later the Genesis came out and Brawlers became all of the rage. You see, Double Dragon didn't just influence my taste in games, but also the entire industry as a whole at the time. Arcades were flooded with brawlers like TMNT the Arcade Game, Final Fight, The Combat Tribes, X-Men, Avengers, Spider-Man, Golden Axe, and hell, even The Simpsons by Konami did kind of like a reskin of TMNT the Arcade Game at the time to capitalize on the rising popularity of the genre. Everyone wanted to improve on what Double Dragon started. Home consoles had great ports of these as well, and gave birth to some of the best games in the genre overall. River City Ransom on NES, TMNT Turtles in Time, Golden Axe, Final Fight, all had great home ports, mainly due to the new 16-bit hardware everybody had. It really comes to no surprise that the Streets of Raid series is my favorite on the Genesis, with the second in the series being my favorite Genesis game of all time. It still saddens me to this day that the Genesis version of Double Dragon is absolute garbage water, but at the point it came out, I had already moved on to the better games mentioned above. Oh yeah, and there's also Battletoads. That game is trash. And if you're a fan of that game, I'm sorry, but your taste sucks. And may God have mercy on your soul. So, 
So where does that leave the genre now? The brawler and beat em up genre kinda went stagnant after the 16-bit era. When consoles began to focus on the 3D graphics early in the 32-bit times, the games didn't quite make the jump very well. There are a few exceptions, like Guardian Heroes of the Saturn, but that sucked at the 2D aspect, and 2D was not all the rage at the time, and so they kinda fell off. When the PS2 generation hit, that's when the genre had more of a resurgence, just not in the typical manner. Games like the Devil May Cry series, God of War, and in later generations, Bayonetta, Metal Gear Rising, Nier Automata, and even Soulsborne games all have roots going back to Double Dragon and similar beat-em-ups. Over the last few years, we've also seen some great comebacks to that 16-bit era brawlers that have not only stayed true to the retro gameplay, but also modernized in both visuals and gameplay mechanics. Games like River City Girls, Streets of Rage 4, and TMNT Shredder's Revenge are all amazing games that will tickle the nostalgia nose as well as feel fresh. So that's Double Dragon, and the first game that made me really fall in love with gaming and helped shape my taste in games today. Until then, this has been one of the games that made me. Take it easy. <laughs>